Welcome back to the GSN and the Cards franchise. This is your host, Sammy33. History could be made. The Cardinals tied with the Cubs and the Mariners, shooting for the all-time wins record as they host a three-game series with the Pittsburgh Pirates sitting at 116, trying to get more. And they knew, and we were trying to get this done early, Arenado, base hit, drives in a run in the first, also a final tune-up before the playoffs, should mention that too. A good first inning, Mitch Keller pretty much has always struggled against the Cardinals. Hart singles up the middle, that will play another two runs for the Cardinals in the first inning. Love to see those hits coming on. Cardinals doing work early. Top of the second though, Van Meter trying to match the St. Louis offense. The runners on first and second, two outs. He's going to single the left center. Carlson will get there, but that obviously is going to be after the run scores. So 2 1. Montgomery, his final outing, trying to figure where does he start with game three, game four. We'll see. But Carlson in the fifth. Tucking one opposite field, tucking one into the left corner. That's going to go. Cardinals up 3 1, his 31st of the season. Gallegos on for the historic potential save would be his 58th on the season. Nice number for the innings there. And Kevin Newman, 2 2, strikes out looking. So big save, 58, possibly gets to 60. But the Cardinals. Big win for them, 117. The crowd loves it. Montgomery, seven strong innings, seven hits spread across, only one earned run. The Cardinals win 3 1. Big dub as they now hold the all time wins record. Now it's just seeing what can be added to it as we head to game two. Nice day game. Dakota Hudson. Getting the start. Obviously, we're not going to send out Michaelis or Flaherty. Try to keep your top two pitchers rested. Hudson, a mm, little bit of a struggle early on. The two runs played early on the double. Cardinals already fighting an uphill battle. Danny V. Cardinals, though, will respond in the bottom half. Tyler O'Neill off of Zach Thompson. Hits one deep out to left with two outs. So just one out needed to get out the inning. Cardinals come up big. Tyler O'Neill with a double nickel. 55 home runs for him. And that gives St. Louis the lead. 3-2. Bottom of the fourth. Pool holes. Also for Zach Thompson. Hangs a curveball. Speaking of milestones, 55 for Tyler O'Neill. How about 40 for Albert Pujols. What a season this man has had for us. 40 home runs. That's 719 in total for the machine. It extends the lead. The Cardinal, Cardinal faithful showing their gratitude. Could be the last home run we ever see in MLB The Show with Albert Pujols. At least in franchise. So... Savor the moment. You've seen a lot over the years. Well, you guys may not have, but I have been playing with pool holes for a long time. So a cool moment. Bottom of the fourth, Dylan Carlson from the other side. Just doing it, doing it all. Singles up the middle. That's going to play one. Five, two. Cardinals extending the lead. Arenado. Two outs. 5-2 game. Runners on first and second. Singles up the middle. So, same thing. That's going to score another run. 6-2. Cardinals in the fourth. So, obviously, you see uh, Banda in in relief. Doing the best he can. Pools. Again. 
So off a righty and off a lefty. Pujols his 41st of the season. A nice flat even. 7-2-0. How cool would it have been to play another season to see if we could get a shot at maybe. Just maybe. Trying to catch Barry. But third all time. Not too bad. We'll take another look. Again, seen a lot of them in my time on my PS2, on my PS3, on my PSP. Not as many on the four for obvious reasons. We'll savor it. Bottom of the six, band is still in. And guess what? Still getting slapped around. 7 2. That's going to be 8 2. Tyler O'Neill, the two hardest legs of a cycle out the way, a triple and a home run. 8-2 Cardinals. Reynolds, though, tell you the Pirates weren't done. 8-2. Make it 8-4. Brian Reynolds, milestone for him. Nice even 30 home runs. Makes it a four-run game. Reyes pitching to Frazier in the eighth. One out away. Oh, what do you know? Just clears the wall, and it goes from 8-2 to 8-7 pretty fast. Not a good look for the Cardinals. Guy goes back on the bump again, trying to get a save. Cardinals up six, trying not to blow the lead. And wouldn't out. Runners on first and second. That's exactly what happened. Ouch. Guy goes gives up the RBI single. It is tied at eight. Rough. And in the bottom half, runners on the corners, Edmund, upset with himself, pops up. We're going to extras. So Cardinals, tough one. Up 8-2, and we're going to the 10th in an 8-8 game. Open letting down. In the 10th, Guy goes, decided to keep him in anyway, and well, given what he did in ninth, probably not the best idea. Gives up a run. 9-8 Pittsburgh. So Pittsburgh with a chance to close it out in the bottom of the 10th. Bednar up. Pitching to Goldie. And guess what? Goldie. Be late, be great. Late hit Larry comes in. And comes up big. That ties it up. 9-9. Nine, nine. And guess what? We're going to another inning. Going to the 11th. This time Hicks. And guess what? He also gives up a run. Close play out the plate. Not a great throw. 10-9. Yachty. Hits one out. Looks like it might drop, but it's going to be caught. Would have tied up the game had it did. So Dave blows the save, but gets the win. Cardinals lose 10-9 after blowing an 8-2 lead. Giving up five runs in the eighth inning rough and more so because of who gave up the hits Reyes Hicks and Gallegos your three best relievers not what you want to see before the playoffs so down to the final game now final game in the regular season Packy nodding on starting for Flaherty making sure that we can set our rotation going into the playoffs so Packy see what he can do in the start obviously still gonna be on the playoff roster and you see so far so good through two innings hitless 0-0 zero, zero, Pittsburgh St. Louis I'll just tell you right now there really was not a lot of offense in this game Packy in the fifth you can see still 0-0 zero, zero. gets the fly out to center field out so five scoreless innings for Packy Love to see it. Still a 0-0 zero, zero game. Someone looking for offense. Bottom of the fifth, Herrera up. Runners on first and second. Seems like a good opportunity, but just like his older counterpart, grounding into a double play. And after five, still scoreless. 0-0. Zero, zero. Not a lot going on in this game. And there wouldn't be, unfortunately. I hate to tell you that. In the eighth, 
bullpen game. Runners on first and second down to the last strike. Guess what? Carlson strikes out looking. Well, I guess checking the swing. But whatever. Same thing. Eight innings. No runs. Eight combined hits too. Both pitchers looking good. 0-0. Zero, zero. Then we have a fun moment. Sosa. Coming on to pinch hit in the 10th inning for Nolan Gorman. And guess what? With a runner on second. He hits one in the corner. It's going to hit the wall. It's going to score a carp. And there you go. That is your regular season for the St. Louis Cardinals. Ending with Edmundo Sosa, who wasn't even expected to be on the roster, coming up with a pinch hit in extra innings. Cardinals end up with 118 wins, 118 and 44 on the season. Best record in baseball clinch, home field clinch throughout the playoffs. A job well done for the St. Louis Cardinals. Up next. We'll see. One nothing. Very boring game. But hey, a win's a win. So we know the Cardinals are in the playoffs. Who will they play? Do you look at stats? We'll talk about that next episode. So tune in. Thanks for watching. The playoffs are here.